Good morning, young folk. It's very good to be able to speak to you this morning. I hope you're all keeping well and that you're not working too hard with all the uh, school activity you have to do now at home. But I'm sure you're all keeping very, very well. And isn't it lovely that we're able to come today uh, to Senior Sunday School and Bible Class and, and have a wee bit of time together. It's been a long time and um, I just want to thank uh, Claire for organising this and for everybody who's taken part. But most of all, I hope that you and your families are keeping well. It's been a long, long time and we're really looking forward to getting back to church again and getting back to Sunday school and Bible class. Uh, it's nice to be together. But in the meantime, I pray that you will just enjoy this morning's uh, story and uh, everything else that will go on. And may God bless and keep and guard every one of you. I'll speak to you soon. Hello everyone, it's lovely to be here this morning and I hope that you're all staying safe and well. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we begin today, we give you thanks. Your love endures forever and it never fails. We thank you Lord for revealing yourself to us through your word. And so as we open the Bible this morning, we pray for guidance and understanding. We pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would open our ears to hear and our hearts to receive your word. Remind us, Lord, that you are our tower of strength and everything we need is found in you. And we pray all these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. my wrestling and in my doubts in my failures you won't walk out your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea whoa you are the peace in my troubled sea in the silence you won't let go in the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness to shore.
Let us hear the word of God as it is found in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Amen. Hello everyone. I know I can't see you this morning, but it's great that we can join together. And if we'd been in the hall, we would have been having open Sunday school this morning and probably had some kind of food, certainly had some games and had some fun together. But this morning, I'm going to talk to you about what we would be talking about if we'd been in the hall, and that is perseverance. It isn't really a fun topic to talk about because it's hard. It's hard to persevere through hard times. It's hard to press on when things are tough and there's nothing really fun about it. But it's incredibly important. And it made me think about these days we are in at the minute. We are having to persevere with home learning. We are having to persevere with not seeing friends and family and meeting in church. We have to persevere with the restrictions that are there. And so I thought, I'll look up and see what this word actually means. So in the dictionary, it says, Perseverance is a steadfastness in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Steadfastness. Staying steady. Holding steadfast to something and sticking out the situations that are difficult, where success seems really far away. So today, while we talk about perseverance, I want you to be thinking about the answer to this question. What are you holding steadfast to? In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, which is our memory verse today, it says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Have you ever heard that verse before? It's the essence of perseverance. Fighting the good fight, finishing the race of life and keeping the faith the whole time. Don't you want to be able to say that when you're old and grey and sitting in the corner of your living room? Don't you want to be able to confidently say that you have persevered through the hard times, that you kept fighting your way when times were tough? Or do you want to look back in your life and just see a time after time after time when you chose quitting or opting out over perseverance. Perseverance is really, really hard, but it is possible. So let's look at why it's possible to pe persevere through hard times. We read in Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 that since we were surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So it's possible to persevere through hard times because we know that Jesus persevered for us. And there's the race bit again. And here we see that in order to run the race marked out for us, we have to have perseverance. But that's not all that there is in these verses. We see that not only do we need to have perseverance, but we need to fix our eyes on Jesus. Why would we need to do that? Well, we need to do that because he persevered for us. So, Jesus endured so much for us, he had to go through far worse than any of us will ever, ever have to go through. He persevered for us. Jesus is the example we are supposed to follow. He is the pioneer and the perfecter of faith. And we see here just how much he endured. So we know that it's possible to persevere through hard, tough, sometimes even terrible situations 
because he persevered for us. So we can certainly persevere for him. It's possible to persevere through hard times because it builds character. Romans 5 verses 3 to 5 say, Not only so, but we also glorify in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. When perseverance is necessary, it's usually because there's some sort of suffering involved. We're suffering through a tough situation at the minute. Lockdown. I've already said all those things. You know what you're missing out. We're persevering with homeschooling and we're suffering through a confusing time. Suffering through a time where accomplishing everything, even getting back to church and Sunday school, seems very far off. So suffering causes the need for perseverance. So what does perseverance cause? Character which causes hope. So having perseverance leads to hope and not just any hope, hope that doesn't put us to shame because it's the hope of God's love which he's poured into our hearts. So no, perseverance isn't really fun to think about and it's certainly not fun to have to do, but the result of perseverance is really beautiful, incredible form of hope and it is well worth it. It is possible to persevere through the hard times because we know who Jesus is and who we are through him. Jesus died for you and for me before you were godly, before we were righteous and while we were still a powerless sinner. Jesus Christ died for us. Why? Because he loves us. He loves us with a crazy kind of overwhelming love. If you're worth dying for, you are all pretty amazing. Knowing who Jesus is, the King and Saviour of us all, and knowing what he did for us should give us confidence to persevere. We know we can persevere through anything because Jesus knows we can. He gave his life for us because he thought we were worth it. Knowing that, there is no other choice but to persevere and keep running the race which he has marked out for each of us. So, it's not worth it to give up. It may feel like it. And there are many times where you don't know how you can possibly keep going. Quitting may sound like a really incredible idea at some point in a tough situation. When that happens, you just have to remember that if you do not quit, if you keep persevering, then you cannot fail. So I want you to think about a couple of things. I want you to think, does knowing that Jesus persevered for you make you want to persevere for him? Does knowing that Jesus died for you make you feel more comfortable? So remember the question I asked you at the beginning. I asked you what you were holding steadfast to. So think about what it is. When you're in a time that is hard, what do you hold on to? Is it selfishness? Is it a friend? Or is it Jesus? Because fixing your eyes on him and holding steadfast to him while you persevere through tough circumstances because that's what it should be. So I hope that all you have learnt today doesn't make perseverance any more fun. It isn't going to make the next tough situation make you go through any less tough. It's going to make a hard time into sunshine. It's Sorry, it's not going to make a hard time into sunshine and butterflies. But now you know it's possible to persevere and you have reasons to persevere. You know that Jesus persevered for you and he's there to encourage you as you persevere for him. Remember, if you don't quit, you can't fail. If you keep going, if you persevere, then you will win no matter what. And that's so much better than quitting or giving up. So thank you for listening and it's been great fun to be able to share some things with you this morning and we look forward to the next time that we're able to do this. So until then, stay safe. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we close this wee video, I thank you, Lord, for those that have taken part in it. I pray, Lord, that you received a real blessing through it. 
And we thank you, Lord, for your precious word, especially that scripture in Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. We pray, Lord, you'd help us fight the good fight, help us stay the course, and help us keep the faith. And Heavenly Father, it is our prayer that there'd be one person tuning in to this wee video would have their lives changed through watching it, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you become to know our Lord Jesus Christ as their own personal Saviour. Continue with us now, Lord, as we just commit all these things into your care and into your keeping. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.